Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is the game called The Medium. Before we hop in, two quick things. First off, if you're not already, subscribe. That way, if you use the notification bell, you'll know whenever I upload a video, because that's probably the only way you'll ever find out. And secondly, remember that you, yes you, you are an awesome person. So keep being awesome to others, okay? All right, let's jump in and find out what's going on in this very unusual game. All right, so we're breaking into the resort here. I'm... Hello? I can't help but think this is Anyone? not a good idea. Thomas? You there? Tom? You want to come out and say hi? Preferably not in a scary way. The Duckling. Polish Legends. The Dragon of... Wawel Wawel Hill? Wawel Hill? Why do my teeth fall out? Back to school, puzzles and crosswords, and much more. Okay. Uh, definitely something used for kids. Oh, okay. So we've got a floor plan. You are here, in the lobby area, elevator bank over there, stairs here, five has a pool, sauna and day room, I guess kind of behind where we are. Oh no wait, sorry, the uh, pool and sauna are over there. It was four. Oh, it's just elevators, there's a second bank of elevators over there, okay. Interesting. This is the reception area. Hmm. Okay. So we can kind of figure out where we are. Is there anything back here? No? Uh, any way for me to get out from back here? No? Okay. What about this door? Can I go through the door? Nope. Oh, they have different time zones, apparently. Like, the different clocks are set to different time zones. Well, that's positive. Brennan Kowalski, Helena Smock, Victoria Maurer, Maurer, however you say that, and Boris Zelazo. Okay. Here for 10 years. Where is Mike Inslin? I feel so pathetic. Swag. No, I feel so pathetic and ugly. You're in me. Use it. What? There's so much other stuff on this. Vote for Pedro. I mean, Pedro Pascal? Sure, I'll vote for him. Why not? Seems like a good guy. Uh, unless you're, you know, attacking his adopted child, then he's a force of nature, but that's a different story. Uh, I am Cat, and I... Oh, wow, okay, that's... Hmm. Sinners be damned. So somebody's broken in here and graffitied this before. Interesting graffiti choices. Uh, do the elevators work? No, of course not. The Niwa Restaurant. The People's Taste. Okay. Can I see anything if I focus on it? No? Okay. Mm -hmm. And the day room. With... Safest place for the youngest. I'm going to go ahead and call some BS on this, purely because you have two... You have a little boy and a little girl, one playing with dolls, the other one playing with a fire truck. Or, actually, I guess it's a bus. 
and they're not fighting or annoying each other at all. I'm going to go ahead and call BS on that right here and now. Alright, well, obviously the stairs are not going to be an option. Because, you know, the whole... They're not in one piece. Same thing over here. Another advertisement. Travel in style, travel in comfort. Oh, wait. It, wrong button. Oh, no. It doesn't let you read what's down there. Hmm. Okay, so it's a transportation company. What's over here? Spring. News information, practical advice for a modern lady. Forefathers Wells. New literary bestseller. Readers ask, experts respond, and 10 sewing techniques for fashionable skirts. Well, that's just bestseller material right there. Uh, let's go down this way. So in here was also the reception area, I believe. I mean, the other way, it's like the pool and sauna areas. Oh, there's another poster. What's this one about? Vivian, the star of the Bolshe Theater. Again, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing things. I'm, I'm an American. I don't read Polish. So, there will probably be some stuff that I mispronounce. Uh, what does this say? My dearest, I know I promised to visit, but guess what? I got promoted. Meet the new chief of staff. Oh, fancy, fancy. I really think this might be it. A fresh start. Place to call home. For us, I mean. You, me, the kids. I know it sounds crazy, but just think about it. Yours forever, F. Okay. That's... Nice of them. Congratulations on the promotion. Now, might I suggest you start yelling at your staff and having them start actually cleaning once in a while. Quality time by the lake. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got paddle boats. That's kind of cool. Anything else down here? Oh. Okay, creepy cutscene. Why would they have a padlocked gate? But you also have a flashlight that's on. So somebody's been through there recently. Hello? Thomas? Why is the light flickering? Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old-fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's totally normal for a bell to ring itself. <clears throat> Sound effect from that is not pleasant. Hi there. Oh, hi. Hi, kid. You startled me. I did, didn't I? You look real scared. <laughs> Thanks. Marianne. Sadness. Is that your name? I mean, 
You seem pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends. Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Can I ask why you don't have an arm? Did something happen to them? Mm, uh, uh, I, I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So. Tell me. What happened? Uh, I, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a few of them stayed. They became very sad, very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. But I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen... Marianne? <gasps> yes. Well, would you play with me? Just for a little while. It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! A anything, Marianne! I'm looking for a man. Thomas. Do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, so Take your time. Uh, oh, yeah. The second floor. We can look there. Come on! Hurry! Oh, wait! I can't go that way! Gail. I need to get up there somehow. Hmm. Okay. So I obviously can't go up because it doesn't exist there. Wasn't there another stairwell? Can I interact with the map? Yes, I can. Cool. Okay. Yes. There's a stairwell down there by the other bank of elevators. Not this one, but the other one. So I need to find gateways that let me through there, down into that hallway. Got it. Well, I say got it. There's probably something in my way. wall. Unless... Is there a... an opening up here? Is this an opening? Door? No? What about this? I cannot use this either. Hmm. appear to be doing, able to do anything there either. That's unfortunate. Again, obviously... Hey. Oh, wait. An elevator. Might as well see if it works. So now the elevator's an option. Okay. I wished I knew her real name. It's kind of messed up to refer to a kid as sadness. Shit. Okay, Marianne, just take a deep breath and. Hmm. 
There's an old F for outer body experience. Let go. Oh, so I'm fully in control. There, a fuse box. Need some energy to spark it up. Okay. So I need to find a source of light somewhere. Gotta move fast. Is that one down there? An out-of-body experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Nope, can't go that way. Okay. So yeah, that has to be it over there. There's like a time limit to how long I can do this. Go, 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 go. Okay, Marianne. Now get your ghostly ass back. <gasps> Oh, and it jumps me back to where the body is. Interesting. Uh -huh. Okay. Huh. And this is just another map, right? No, this gives us upper floor. So if I go around the bank to the right, I get to the exercise room and a bunch of other rooms. If I turn around and go the other way, I get reading room, another bank of elevators. Okay. Don't think I'm going to have the option to go. acclaimed painter Richard Tarkovsky for the first time in the Neva Resort back in the early 80s. Okay. Supposed to go to the. S so I clicked on the second floor. But I don't seem to be able to go anywhere else. That dead ends. I can't cut across this. can't go any further this way. Hmm. Uh, I only went up one floor instead of two. Wow, this elevator takes a long time between floors. But then again, it's been abandoned for decades. I'm kind of surprised it works at all. Where did she go? Mm, that's another map. Okay. Manager's office, way down the hall. Okay, I see footprints. Huh. What is? 
Bug. Sadness? Okay. Not getting through here. Alright, so there's some kind of locked door right there that I can't go through. Fair enough. Fuck! Holy shit. I didn't even know I could do that. Okay. So I have a shield. That's kind of cool. to that locked room that we saw earlier. Just in case I don't get the option to later. they're making. Ooh. Not a fan. Is there anything I need to be looking for in here? Anything at all? What is this? So far, I'm not seeing anything crazy. But it also appears that there's a hole running through the bathroom that carries on into another room. you want. Ugh, that voice. I don't know why, but it gives me shivers. Odd. Uh, anything else? Looks like the only way. Great. cold memories of grief loneliness <sighs> the 
spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. Hmm. I mean, this is the little closet area I started out in. What else is in the room? An old prescription. I know these drugs all too well. Depression, hysteria, insomnia, malnutrition. So they used electroshock therapy? And antipsychotic meds? Well, I'm assuming antipsychotic, they might not be. Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just squeeze in the right spot and let it pour out. Ah, sunflower weary of time. Hmm. For my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky, you shouldn't have. Please, it's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. Huh. An actual happy memory. So there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. Mm, for now. Okay. Ah, sunflower weary of time. For well, my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. T Please. Yeah. I already heard that once. Uh -uh. So wait, so can I do something with this? To make that go over there? Shit, there are thousands of them. I'm gonna need more energy to get through. Okay, yeah, that definitely qualifies as an eerie drawing. Alright, so I can't get through. I need more energy. Anything? I'm wondering why I would write this letter instead of expressing myself directly. The reason is it's painfully simple. I'm writing this because I'm a coward. Couldn't bring myself to look you in the eye and say what was meant to be said. What must be said. The mere thought of breaking the heart of someone so delicate, so fragile, is more than I can bear. Ursula, my dearest Ursula, the past two months brought joy to my heart to know you were there for me. I feel our friendship blossom. Yeah, that's all it can be. Friendship. Close, pure, true, but never more. Please try to understand being this close, this exposed. Someone has never been easy for me. Life and its struggles have left me changed, damaged in ways that I couldn't possibly comprehend. You deserve someone to hold you, to share life's joys and sorrows with you. How I wish I could be that person, but I'm not. Words cannot express my regret. As I know deep in my heart, this marks the end of our friendship. Please forgive me forever, your friend, RT. Hmm. Okay. There's the right spot. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Useless old hag. Why would he care any more than the others? <laughs> it's more than grief. More than despair. This letter crushed her spirit. Oof. It's a heck of a breakup. Anything else? 
outside. Apparently, I need to find something. Uh, the spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. But what is there that I could find that would fire it up? Are there any flowers out here? Looks like we have ourselves a legitimate little puzzle game on our hands with some definite horror tendencies based off the uh, very creepy little girl. She's very happy, but she's also very creepy because of the whole missing arm and the rest of her joints appear to be not 100% there. So, very odd, but... It's definitely intriguing, and even though it's not a whole lot of action going on, the story is still kind of grabbing hold of me and pulling me in some, so I'm enjoying it. I'm definitely enjoying it. Very, it's intriguing me and making me wonder where this game is going to go, you know? And I think that's an important thing for games to do. So, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Help keep the YouTube overlords happy. And if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on the next episode of this or any other video that I upload, again, please subscribe and use the notification bell. Till next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. And I'll catch you in the next one.